yeah, that's right. Huge Aiden Ross drama, which is a phrase that kind of goes together like moist moguls in winning or religious leaders okay. in being really creepy towards children. However, I did decide this would be... Yeah, that Dalai Lama thing was crazy. It happened like two weeks ago. I didn't talk about it because it just made me uncomfortable to look at. But uh, yeah, it was... What the fuck, right? Final video I make on Aiden Ross, barring some crazy shit happening. It's kind of like uh, Andrew Tate. I made a bunch of videos about Andrew Tate. Don't give a shit anymore, right? Unless he murders a man in cold blood, I don't care what that man's up to. I feel like I've spoken my piece. I don't have anything more to say. Yep. Same with Logan Paul, unless he makes a crypto zoo too, which would be an insane development. That would be very cool. Please, Logan, make a crypto zoo too. That content was amazing. I don't think I'm going to make a video about the guy anymore, and Aiden Ross has now joined that camp. But I will leave with one final farewell to Kick's number one streamer. There at it least is. According to stream charts over the past week. Uh, and that is some recent drama he got in, specifically with copyright claims. Uh, and and the the claim is that he's internet anarchist. By the way, for anybody who doesn't know, he does a lot of videos. Um, you know, like I'm pretty sure he probably doesn't like this comparison, but he's a lot like Sunny V2. He makes internet like kind of like some drama videos, some channel analysis videos. Uh, I I think that again, it's just more of that type of content, more commentary content. I, I like him overall. I I do like him. Doing false copyright claims on a bunch of creators. Uh, and here is the video that kind of leaked it all. This is him pretending to come because he copyright claimed someone and then they tweeted out, I just lost $8,000 from Aiden Ross copyright, false copyright claiming my video about the Penguin Zero Moist Critical versus Nico situation. W, chat, by the way, this is um, Hassan's head moderator, chat. Put a W in the chat. No, it's not. Does he think this is Austinox? I think he thinks it's Austinox. He must be, yeah. yeah we stole eight thousand dollars from him. W. He needed that. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. W. Yes. <laughs> yes. The same Discord, by the way, where he found huh. his sister's porn. I don't know why he's so. <laughs> guy what is he doing man jesus scrolling through that shit that discords that's a that's a harrowing place yeah. that'd be a battlefield i never enter again okay this is a weird story but i was doing the yard a month ago and uh -huh. aiden one of my friends told me that his dad told him that you could buy government-backed treasury bills and they have a guaranteed 4.8 percent yield on your cash and i had no idea what that meant so i googled it and i tried to buy some but i couldn't figure out the website so i gave up and then the sponsor of today's video came in clutch i really like his shirt color no i actually i do like this is no it, it's a this shirt looks really good I tried to buy some, but I couldn't figure out the website, so I gave up. And then the sponsor of today's video came in clutch. Public. Public just launched treasury Public accounts. Launch. A quick and easy way to buy government-backed treasury bills from your phone. You don't have to go to the websites That's made from 1996, or you don't have to go into a bank. You can just use your yeah, mobile so, phone and yeah. buy the bills. I'm not making this up, by the way. This isn't CryptoZoo. You can look it up for yourself. As long as you just keep it with the government for a set period of time, you, the you get back. the fixed yeah. yield back of 4.8%. And with public, it's a whole lot easier to do. With public, you can even reinvest your treasury bills at maturity, which I think just means when you get your money. But I don't, I don't, that's what the, the yeah. word they used. Yeah. So I got a simple call out today. Go to public.com slash mogul mail if you want a 4.8% yield on your cash, which you're guaranteed to get as long as you trust the American government, or at least that the fact that they will exist. You don't have to trust the rest of it. Just trust that they'll be around to get your 4.8% and get the heck out of there. Yeah. So go to public.com slash mogul mail to start getting a 4.8% yield it's on your scam? cash. It's a scam? Bro, they're... Of course it's a scam. It's the government, guys. Bro, you can tell it's fake because it's the government. Like, I mean, they're the ones that fake the moon landing. Like, think about, like, all the false flags they had happen to try to take our guns. Yeah. No, of course it's fake, guys. 100% by getting government backed treasury bills. This, I don't know, this, it seems smart. This yeah. is not financial advice. This is just what Aiden's dad told us to do. And my dad's not around to tell me what to trade, so I'll go with his. <laughs> That's dark. Anyway, public.com slash mogul mail. Yeah. Anyway, let's talk about copyright claims and how they can happen. 
because it's a generally easy process from YouTube, which means there's lots of false copyright claims. And every creator yep. that you watch at one point or another has bitched about false copyright claims. Also probably complained about demonetization mm -hmm. or the litany of other issues that exist with YouTube. Oh yeah. And I will say to YouTube's credit, this system is great because it takes what was formerly a very long and drawn out legal process and expedites it. But it still it does is make it easier. at its yeah. core initiating a legal process of sorts. It's just trying to do it very quickly through YouTube system rather than going to courts to deal with who owns the copyright for what. And for the most part, it does a decent job at ensuring uh, 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 copyright holders uh, uh, keeping their, their well, copyright. It's one of the things where like, Obviously, most of the copyright claims are pretty accurate and are authentic. It's just that everybody hears about the ones that are not. Because they're the ones that everybody gets mad about, and so they get talked about the most. But yeah, usually the system works fine. Written material uh, to themselves, right? So so for music labels, that's part of the reason why they haven't shut down YouTube as a whole, like they would uh, Napster in 2002, yeah. is because of this, this system, system yeah. exists. Uh, and basically, it'll show you uh, any video that matches your own content. It's not the greatest system on earth, as you guys can see. It literally has Dream's face reveal video as one of my videos because I reacted to it before it was uploaded onto Dream's YouTube because he premiered it. So it considers it my video and it matches it, even though that... So, so what? <laughs> That's so fucking good. Wow. Obviously isn't the case. That also happened because I've watched a so bunch so of much money videos made off on my it? channel. So when they get translated into a different language, well, I watch the English version. It matches everything the English version has. Ludwig, that's your video. I yeah, could claim it. Now, obviously, I wouldn't do that because it's a yeah. false copyright claim and I would easily lose that battle. But that doesn't mean that there aren't bad actors there in the aren't scene Dumbos. who do that yeah. all the time. And people even start up like companies and organizations to send out false copyright claims because they know YouTube system is broken and they just want to do it to make money. Who have the ability to claim things that might be a small percentage, that might be a fair use situation, and they claim it as if it was outright theft and take all the proceeds from it. And the system allows you to do that. There is an article about how there's billions of dollars in false copyright claims yep, every single go. year. And there Aiden Ross seems to be going down that trend. But it's even a little bit more nefarious than that because he's not just false copyright claiming everyone who's using his video. He's only false copyright claiming people who he considers his ops. Here's the clip of Aiden admitting that on stream while talking his to one ops? of- His ops? What do you mean his ops? Like opposition? of his friends or special uh, operators on reacting yeah, bro. Like, there's no honest, way yeah. he's this stupid but listen I, 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 he's supposed to only go for the ops so that's aiden admitting on stream that he's only going for ops his opposition the people who are out to get him mm -hmm. i don't know i think he thinks Spec there's like ops. a cabal of people Black who ops. wanted him off Call of twitch duty. that got him off of twitch but basically people he doesn't fuck with now look, yeah, Aiden Ross is not the one doing these copyright claims. It's done by a company called Thumb Media, and they're doing it on Aiden's behalf. And he's the one who directed that company to target people he doesn't like to copyright claim all of their videos that includes any of Aiden's streams or, yeah. or videos or assets. Uh, and, and it's not always up to snuff. It's not always something that would legally pass as a good copyright claim, a good... Well, it's hard to know what would pass as a good copyright claim and which one wouldn't. And uh, I, I, to me, like, I see this kind of stuff and I think it's very problematic because as soon as everybody starts doing this, it's going to just create more rules and more legislation. It's not illegal to be selective, though. No. no, it's not illegal to be selective. But it is illegal to make copyright claims without taking into consideration fair use. That is illegal, and it should definitely be against YouTube's terms of service, and I'm pretty sure it is. ...size of your own copyright. Look, I'm fully okay with people 
claiming their own videos. I yeah, personally exactly. don't care. I've never claimed anybody for copyright. Occasionally, I've asked people who use or edit a lot of my streams to stop or maybe outright hire them. But I've yeah, never claimed them through YouTube's system because I think the system's pretty shit altogether. But yeah, I'm I cool. try, we try to avoid doing that too. It's like there's no real reason to do that. It just creates more problems. It's better to just talk to somebody and that way you solve the problem without having to deal with any system. Right? It's that easy when people do it. For example, is CGP yeah, Gray is. is a guy whose copyright claimed me twice. He gave me two strikes and I almost got banned off of all of YouTube for it. But I served the time of 18 months or wherever until the claims expire and, and the strikes expire and, and now I'm all good and I only yeah. react to people who are cool with it. Uh, but but that, was, that was something that he was allowed to do and I've never chewed him out for that. This, however, seems to be crossing a line of okay copyright claims into not okay copyright claims. Copyright claiming definite fair use and Aiden Ross himself I think is aware of that which is why he's only targeting people that are his ops and not very legitimate claims to copyright that he feels like is infringing on the content he has created and you have to I, th I do think that in general like I mean I don't think Aiden's claimed any of our stuff I, I think it is definitely people that he doesn't like like I I've been generally pretty friendly with Aiden. It's not really that big of a deal. I, I think that he's definitely wrong on this and I've called him out for stuff, but I think it just depends on you know, I, I feel like Hassan is kind of like one of those guys that everybody, whenever they talk about, you know, people out there that are out to get them, Hassan is probably the guy who everybody is thinking of. He doesn't know who you are. Well, I mean, like we follow each other on Twitter, I've I've DM'd him and talked to him multiple times, but yeah, sure, whatever. But like uh, yeah, I, I don't think this is really that big of a surprise to see it happen. To recognize, YouTubers abide by a very homey system, mm -hmm. a, very, a very handshake system. Normally, if you film anything, everybody needs to sign a release form. Mm -hmm. There's a certain set of processes that happen to be able to ensure that whoever is creating this content owns it outright and they cannot have it get taken down at all. Yeah. And I promise you, that most YouTubers, pretty much all streamers, and definitely Aiden Ross do not do that, which is what no. Hassan was talking about here on his stream. He's not sending release forms before having people appear on his fucking streams. So, hey, Aiden, have fun with that. I will literally personally pay the legal fees of other fucking Instagram models and people who now hate Aiden Ross who have appeared on his stream to sue him for every fucking dime he has if he keeps this dumb shit up, okay? This is Hassan threatening to sue Aiden, I, I think, realistically. Or, or, you know, like, fund the legal fees of other people trying to sue him. Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. If you don't sign a release form, you could have the content taken mm -hmm. down. Maybe if they don't take it down, you could get to a lawsuit. Uh, and Aiden's response to this, okay, this I find this really funny. Someone runs this Aiden update account, and, and they make little graphics for Aiden. I don't know if Aiden pays them. I'm pretty I hope sure. he should start. This is good. Sure. He doesn't, but but if he does, that's isn't that, that's it's like his own press release. It's like a PR team. Yeah. If Hassan wants to go ban for ban, I gladly welcome that. My legal team is undefeated, bitch. <laughs> isn't it fucking depressing that the legal system is based off who can go banned for banned harder? I think that's pathetic. I think it should be the person go. who's like in the right, you know, on the side of like truth. Injustice wow. and not the one who pays for the lawyers who uh -huh. are like the most good Weasley ratty or whatever I, I, I just yep. thought this whole tweet was kind of fucking depressing uh, So anyway, that's that's what Aiden Ross said on stream Not exactly Money what he said with justice. his actions, however yeah. Because there's also some evidence of Aiden doing the exact thing that he is claiming for And here's a clip of Hassan finding that exact information out Because this was a live stream Hassan did that Aiden Ross uploaded on his channel yeah, and where else? This is my VOD that he appeared on. I'm the one who set up this stream, by the way. I called Aiden Ross. Oh, I said, come hang out, and you can hang out with Hassan and all of us, and we can go shopping. And then I That's left because nice. he took, like, freaking four hours. But he showed up, and this was on Hassan's stream. I was literally there, like, an hour before this, and he uploaded it on his channel and then also added all of his socials to the bottom of it, which <laughs> okay. is as bad of of uh, any lifting of copyright material as... Just put, bro, he just put his shit on there, yeah. <laughs> you can get damn right? like he just outright uploaded the entire stream yeah i don't give a shit 
I don't think Hassan should strike, and he said himself that he wouldn't strike. No, for this. it's ridiculous. But the fact that Aiden Ross feels comfortable striking other people for the exact thing he himself does exactly. is wild. And then he's well, also it, comfortable. The thing is that you have to keep in mind the whole thing is all just because he doesn't like what like Hassan and these other guys are saying. It's got nothing to do with like what makes sense in the law. That's not the point. He just doesn't like what they're saying. People claiming when it's just bits and pieces of extreme in longer video essays. But I don't think Aiden Ross is as tough as his band for band persona that he gives off on stream because he buckled. Aiden Ross folded. Yep. Thanks to everyone who helped raise awareness on this situation from bragging about stealing AK from me to quietly folding behind the scenes. These last few days have been a riot video coming soon, and that's in response to I love Team how YouTube, YouTube saying, check in on this. It looks like the claim has been closed by the content. YouTube goes and says, Aiden, because like they don't want to be involved with this. They said, bro, we didn't fucking do this. This is just the system, right? Like, And they say, like, yeah, Aiden closed the fucking complaint. Owner. And then this is another YouTube creator. It looks like YouTube's cracking down on Aiden Ross's copyright abuse. Good news, your copyright video was released. Yep. Uh, and then here's another creator, Nakolept, saying, it turns out a lot of uh, public bash, uh, backlash has made Thumb Media, the people Aiden Ross hired, uh, reverse their claims. And, and that's uh, also another factor, too, is like Thumb Media, these guys probably don't know, like, they, they don't really know what's going on. They just said, like, Aiden, it's like, oh, you want to copyright strike this video? They're uploading your stuff? Okay, yeah, sure, we'll copy strike it. So then they do. And now they're getting a bunch of hate because Aiden is sending out bullshit copyright notices. Well, they say, fuck that. We're going to resend these. We don't want to work with you, man. Like, yeah, we don't want to get put in the middle of your fucking, uh, of your, 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 your fight, your drama. Fuck off. Uh, good news. Both your videos have been uh, uh, released and uh -huh. you are now able to make revenue on it. So it, it looks like he just totally buckled. It didn't seem like he wanted to fight this battle. And I think that's good. I am overall that's happy smart. with that decision by Aiden yeah, Ross. Yeah, it's a good decision. But it doesn't exactly feel like he is done because he also said this. Another graphics package. Never Another gra breaking news, by the way. The war is not over yet. Aiden has a few tricks up his sleeve and is now allegedly planning on suing Hassan for defamation of character. Blush. I got the Jew crew by my side. You're finished, buddy. I, 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 <laughs> emoji, I got the Jew crew by my side, <laughs> you're finished, buddy, Aiden Ross on Hassan's recent claims oh about him. Oh my god. Which, I don't know, that's an ominous threat. Here is a less uh, uh, ominous threat and a much more direct one from one of his friends. Um, yo. Kickstreamer Cuffum threatened to kill Hassan. Now, I put XQC's reaction in this because I think his words were really wise here, and I'll just let it play. Uh, yo. Yeah, don't, don't do that, man. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. So true. so true. Damn, like, yeah, chill out. Like, bro, that, that guy needs to lay down. Yeah, just go lay down for a while, man. Like, you're good. Like, it's just... Just take a nap. Fuck. In conclusion, and this is the final thing I'll end on here from Jay Aubrey, Aiden Ross, a guy who illegally streamed the Super Bowl to 100,000 people, somehow uh -huh. believes he has the authority to copyright claim anyone who uses his clips yep. under fair use to even slightly criticize him. Alpha male wannabes are always the most fragile people in the world. Video soon. So I'll look out for that one. And I'll never make a video about Aiden Ross again, unless he does some crazy shit that I just have to talk about, because, man, I'm just fucking tired of it. Bro. So we're not going to get a video about Aiden until next time. week. Have a good day, everybody. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. All right, see you later. Goodbye. All right, see you later, guys. You can use my content if you want. Make little mail clips. I don't know. Hey, right, look um, at that. So here's the thing. Um, I, I, I feel like it's it's been so funny to me, because remember whenever Hassan watched that video from Gavin McGinnis? And then they copy striked Hassan and they didn't copy strike me. I feel like every single time one of these things has happened, I'm like the only person that doesn't get got. Everybody else gets got. I never get got. And I hope that all of these guys understand, you know, whether it was Gavin or Aiden or Andrew Tate, I will give you a fair shot. Okay? I'm not, I, I will, I will try. And, and this is. This is what I try to do. 
I try to not interpret what people say in uh, in bad faith. I try to give them a genuine, you know, like, I don't know, what do you, what do you call it, right? I, I, I try to approach it genuinely. You didn't watch Sneeko's video? Bro, I didn't watch Sneeko. Dude, Sneeko tweets at me. He says, you watched Charlie's video, but you didn't watch my video. And I'm like, okay, pussy, send me your fucking video. And it's an hour. I don't want to watch this. This is a fucking hour. Are you kidding me? You can't wrap this up in 15 minutes? Get the fuck. It's a movie. Stop it. And, I, and the thing is, like, I even... I even defended Sneeko. I did. I, I defended it. I said, you know, listen, man. Like, you're fucking, like, you want to be a cuck. You're into this kind of stuff. People are, are out of pocket getting mad at you for this shit. Like, I think it's fine if he wants to be a cuck, right? Like, the stomach people's position. Well, oh, I try to, I, I, I try to give people the benefit of the doubt. And I try to be honest, you know. So even if people might not like what I'm saying, I hope they know that I at least give them a shot. Whether it's Sneeko, Kotaku, um, Andrew Tate, or any of these other guys, I try to be fair. 